uh, Missouri's defense that jumps out at you, the defensive line or anything like that? Uh, you know, I'll tell you what, uh, I really feel like they're uh, even watching kind of bad. We played them early last season, obviously, um, kind of watching it as their season went. I, I thought they were uh, very good defensively when we played them, and, and I thought they were playing better better and better as, as the season went and, and uh, got good length. Uh, I think they run run well across the board, and, um, you know, I think, uh, you know, they're going to be aggressive. Um, and uh, I think they're a really good unit. Got 45 and almost, almost 45 points, almost 500 yards total offense. Just how good do you feel like the offense is clicking? You know, it's uh, right now. I think it's it's more of again just trying to keep pushing ourselves forward. And and while we've been able to do some good things and and, and have good production, uh, you know, there's been things we've left out there. And and this group, I think, is still uh, coming together. You know, and that's the exciting part. And that's what uh, I mean. This game is all about too. Is is constantly getting better, uh, getting continued more continuity with our receivers, our quarterback. Um, you know, across the board. I mean, even though we've got a lot of experience, there's you know, there's still some some new pieces too that we're you know working working together and and uh, but proud of them. You know, we've we've made some good steps. You know, to be able to have that production and still have things to work on is a good thing. Are you in a spot where you feel like you can stretch out Keegan Johnson even more in terms of a snap load? We're hoping so. You know, and, uh, he's had a good week. Um, you know, was really ho- really thought he turned the corner last week. We were hoping that held and and it did and. And I was able to go in, and when he got out there, made some big plays for us. I mean, that third down in that in the red zone was huge, and uh, you know, almost got us in the end zone. And and uh, so, uh, hope that continues for sure. Whenever you get Christian back at right tackle, would the ideal plan be to stop moving people around on the O line, or would that still be something you'd look at from time to time? You know, it'll it'll probably be a little week to week deal. Um, you know, I think uh, again, it's been. Uh, it's been a good thing we've been able to get as many guys, uh, you know, snaps, um, uh, you know, thus far. Um, I would imagine it would probably, uh, you know, things will things will level out as we continue to go. But then, a little bit of that too is just keeping guys fresh and, and managing their load as as we get through the entirety of the season. So, we kind of probably week to week, I'd imagine. Was there an advantage properly? When you look at the rest of the season, Detroit taking away Ben Sinnott and forcing you to look at other options. Uh, you know, it's it, it's good. I mean, they they did a great job. Uh, you know, obviously they it was it was clear that they knew where he was. You know, most of the time, which uh, you know is is not a bad thing. And, and credit to him and and uh, uh, something we'll definitely you know calculate moving forward. What's made Jaden such a uh, you know good guy to target early in these games? Uh, you know, he's uh, it's it's been really fun to watch him uh, again. Even the last eight months, last year, um, really, really settle in and, and and work at his craft. And you know, he's transitioned his body. Um, you know, really, really done a nice job of of working at the offense, knowing where he's supposed to be. He's got he's got great natural gifts. I mean, he can he can run really fast and be very relaxed. I mean, he he can be at his top speed and it doesn't look like he's hardly even uh, laboring, you know? And so uh, he's got separation speed uh, and then he's he's attacked the football and that showed up in camp and, and it showed up even in two games of, you know, that ball's in the air, he ain't afraid to to, uh, to be physical and, and, and track it down. So uh, he's he's earned, uh, you know, uh, and, and worked for all the plays that he's made and, uh, I think that'll continue. Were you hiding him from us in the, in the preseason, <laughs> or how did he just come out of nowhere? <clears throat> no, I mean, uh, no, I mean, he 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 had a good camp and and really uh, knew he was good. You know, we kind of were uh, had a pretty good idea of what um, you know RJ was, what Phil was, obviously. Um, you know, the outliers of who we were trying to to figure out was he was one of them, and and Keegan was another one, and. You know, had two or three guys is you know in that mix as well, trying to you know see how that rotation was going to be and, and how it was going to go, and and knew he had he had worked himself into being that third, fourth ish guy, you know, based on inside, outside, all that type of stuff, and and then with uh, you know obviously Keegan getting a little dinged up, and your number gets called, and then all of a sudden it's the first touchdown of the year, and, and he answered the bell, and so uh, knew he could do it, and obviously to his credit took advantage when he got an opportunity. 
Uh, what's that? Um, probably not. Uh, probably not looking like that. But um, you know, we'll probably uh, carry on as we have, and and you know, uh, um, kind of see where it goes. Why was the QB run game such a good play for you last week? <clears throat> QB run game. How which how so? Oh, you got powered oh. open for some good runs. He was effective at the goal line. Why was that a, a good option for you against Troy? Yeah, well, it, it, you know, it was kind of a little bit just situationally. You know, we had a couple of those plays. Even the one on uh, second and forever was, uh, you know, was intentionally, you know, initially planned to get the ball outside on the edge, but then in that pass rush kind of two minute situation, they're playing wide wide. You know, nine techniques with those defensive ends trying to tee off on you. You know, it's going to be a keep in the middle, soft, trying to just get you into something manageable. You know, knew it would get us, uh, it would be a keep, and he'd carry it, even though it was a read. Um, you know, and then, uh, I mean, it's down in those goal line, short yardage, red zone situations. I mean, uh, good defensive teams do a really good job of. Of uh, hiding numbers, getting angles, and and you know if you don't have that extra hat, it, it, it puts strain on you at times. And there's chances where you can uh, walk in the end zone, you know. And, and when that's uh, it's hard to do against good defense. And Troy was a good defense, so it just it, there were good opportunities for it. And and uh, you know when you got to have it, you got to have it. Heard a lot about four on four at the end of uh, Saturday. Is that uh, an added? Kind of aggressive mindset for a coaching staff as well as the players. Absolutely, I mean, in those, you know, as you as you really look at it, trying to manage those possessions, regardless of if you get it first or not, just kind of how that first first half as it starts to come to a close, uh, and how those possessions end up falling, and then the, that first part of the second half. I mean, there's a chance, uh, and it happened to us a couple times last year where. You know, you get they get three possessions to your one basically, and if they score three times and you don't score, that that's that's a backbreaker, and that happened to us a couple times. And so just being our guys being aware of it, and like I said, some of that you can't control. They might be the they, you might get that ratio, but if you do, you got to make sure you you do something with it when you get it, and you you bow up if uh, you know you're on defense. So I think it's been a it's been a good it's been a good mindset and a good mentality for us, and it's a. Those are big transitional times, you know, for for your football team. Was there any conversation with with Kleiman going into that final drive before halftime, or was it let's score, boys? No, we we kind of said one first down. You know, uh, let's see if we get one first down. I think we got it on the first play, so it kind of got us a little bit out of the hole. Um, <laughs> you know, then we kind of gave some of it back. You know, on the on the first down of the of the on the second play. Um, but again, you know, we had, uh, I know coach does and, and I do, I mean, we have great, uh, great faith and, and belief in our guys and, and an experienced quarterback. And, uh, you know, you gotta be careful. You know, we, we were trying to be, be wise, obviously with, with some of those calls, a screen, a QB run and some different things. But, um, you know, at the end of the day, guys made plays and, and it made a difference, uh, getting that momentum back.